A springtime one tank trip to Madison, Ohio is about 48 miles to the east of Cleveland. If all the snow has you down and thinking about green growing things, what better place to head this time of year than the home of one of America's biggest mail order garden nurseries? Bluestone perennials will raise a mind boggling one million plants this year in the greenhouses that cover over a quarter of a million square feet. This time of year, over a thousand mail orders a day will be packed and shipped all over the world. Your business, obviously, is mail order is the biggest part of it, but you do it are open to the public, and that your major yes, sir. season is when? Uh, once it gets warm enough to actually have fun outdoors, which this year <laughs> I'm not sure when that's going to be. Sometime in but, July. But uh, yes, we'll start. We already had people in buying. Uh, they're the really hardy uh, souls at yeah. this point. Uh, this year we're probably about two weeks out from really having it be fun outdoors. About the time you're thinking of mowing your lawn the first time, you're starting to see dandelions pop, that's the best time to be planting. Unless you have a very green thumb, you might be surprised at how many different perennial plants there are. Uh, we're growing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of plants. Uh, we have about 1,200 varieties active in a catalog in any given year. There's another 600 behind that. What's new this year? Oh boy, there's so much breeding work going on. A really exciting time to be in perennials. Uh, over the past couple years, uh, there's been a lot of work in the euchre strains. Um, a lot of different foliage textures and colors coming there. Uh, extensive breeding work in the echinaceas or cone flowers. Uh, they just continually uh, improve flower, vigor, duration. Uh, it's actually quite a challenge for us to try and evaluate all the new varieties and pick the best. So after a long drab winter, Bluestone Perennials is helping make our springtime more colorful, even if it's just one plant at a time. Now, while it has absolutely nothing to do with gardening, I couldn't come to Lake County without a stop here at Romans Four in Madison on the Lake, one of my favorite places for chicken wings. Now, you've been making chicken wings for two generations here, right? Yep. And how did it start? My mom is from Niagara Falls in the Buffalo area. My grandfather, my uncle always had a restaurant. And that's where Buffalo Wings started. And that's where Buffalo Wings started. And my mom and dad's dream was to bring the recipe back here to Ohio. I believe we were one of the first ones in Ohio yes. to have them. And um, we've been selling them since 1976. While they serve three dozen different types of wings, it's still the original hot sauce that's the big seller. Well, we put a lot of love in them. They're fresh. Fresh um, by what means? They're not frozen. They're not frozen. They're fresh. They're cooked to order. And um, well, I mean, you, just you have to, and throw it in there, like uh, new cooks grill. that we hire. Like we don't even let them do our fry, like for months after being here. Like we all we try to keep them all exactly the same. And they have to learn your way. They have to it. learn our way, and it takes quite a few months before we even let them touch them. <laughs> Well, as you can see, I got my carry-out wings, and whether it be the heat of the wings or some of that color of those perennial flowers, you know that spring is finally on the way. And it's a great one-tank trip. I'm Neil Zerker.